Hey, Sez here, and today we have the genus behind Play by Point, the preferred platform for paddle clubs here in the USA. Uh, well, welcome back, uh, Andres. Awesome. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, yeah. So how's your paddle, man? Last time you said yeah. you were working on your paddle. How's your it's paddle? St still working on it. Still working on it. And unfortunately... Still the same, man. I still the same. What's going on? Are you choosing other racket sports or paddle? Paddle always. Oh, paddle, paddle always. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing to say. Okay, well, let, to tell us, tell everybody what's new in, in, in play by point. Awesome. So look, I think we were here about a year ago. Um, you know, what's new in play by point? I would say, I would say what's new in paddle, right? Yeah, since yeah. a year, so mm -hmm. a lot has evolved since then. I think we've seen it go from a hobby sport to a more professional organization. Yeah. Um, you're seeing the rise of you know the PPL. Um, the USPA is putting more efforts yeah. and then a lot of new clubs coming to market. Right. Yeah. So that means a lot of new players. Good for you. Right. Good for, for everyone. Yeah. 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 In that case. So we've been, you know, we've been working hard and, and our, our mission and premise stays the same, right? We're here to help clubs owners, to help clubs. And we're working day in, day out, just making our product better, not only for the player, but for the for the club. Okay, so for the people who this is the first time they've seen you uh, here on, on our show, why don't you explain a little bit what Play by Point is? Yeah, so Play by Point, I like to describe as an all-in-one management solution for racket sports clubs, right? We focus on paddle, pickleball, and racket sports in general. Yeah. For sure, in that case. So what we do is we provide your club with all the tools you need to operate and market to your players, for sure, in that case. And what does that mean? We have a point of sale solution that everything that happens on court, whether it's your lesson management, program management, reservations, um, pro shop, memberships, you name it, all can be handled through the system. So think about what Square does for restaurants or for a retail shop. We do the same for the paddle club. Right. Good analogy. Yeah. And then for the player, just to interrupt there, for the player, um, as you know, we have our consumer app. Right, that we have two products there. One that can be white labeled, where the clubs can have their own app that we build for them, we brand to them, and then they can also access the clubs through Play by Point, where we give a one-to-one -one experience to the player. Or that I've case. seen that. that. That's really, really, really smart. Okay, so it's been about a year. Um, what are the features, or what are the the new logic that that clubs are asking for that you guys have accomplished already? Yeah. So I think you know, and it, it's been a year, but it feels longer. Right. Yeah, in that yeah, case, yeah. I'll start there. And and that's good because that means there's a lot of progress being done. The analogy or kind of what I usually say is for the past eight years, right? So we were founded in 2016. We've been trying to figure out how to run these clubs. Right. And that was kind of the first phase of the market, right? Seeing how we can actually build people, operate efficiently. I have a big saying that for club owners, you're in the real estate business, right? You're yeah. selling time and space. Yeah. And you need to make sure that all that time and space is being accounted for. Yeah. So our main objective in the past has been to make sure that your operation is completely taken care of from lesson management, program management, everyone that comes in the door is paid, your pro staff having commission rates, everything that goes around the club. And then in terms of features that we're working on that we've launched, um, look, we just launched our new app version so if you haven't updated the app go to the app store update your version it's a completely redesign of the app um we launched our official matches so now you can go in um you can report your scores and and your rating will go up and down we've also let's talk about that okay that's a big one because yep. i talked to julian about that yep. and he was kind of like huffing and puffing about like yep. about what's going on and stuff and and I think you guys did something similar to Platonic uh, back in the day where, you know, you and you can explain that a little bit more. How, how does that work? Yeah. So, look, we look, we're in a competitive industry, right? Our, our ambitions are global. And the as you mentioned, right, Platonic has done a great job in 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 Europe and, and other countries in kind of fostering that rating system. Right. That's internal. And, and really what it does, it just creates more engagement and more community. Or on that case. So really what we set out to do was prior people were using the NTRP, right? Which was yeah. a legacy rating from tennis. Right, right. And and we started to get a lot of input from clubs that, you know, they they wanted some sort of rating, right? Yeah, in that yeah. case. And and from a competitive standpoint, as it is play by point, you know, we need to compete with 
the other platforms out there, right? Mm -hmm. So um, again, we built the rating goes from one to seven, and then it's it's kind of for your casual player, for sure. In that case, it's just the rating to kind of set everyone up from the day to day club player, right? right? Not on the competitive. We don't intend to go right, there, right, but it's right. just to kind of have everyone on the level set, and at the same time, it's a free tool, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And I think that's what's important. So okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talked about Julian's complaints like yep. here, you know, yep. um, I guess he was saying that, well, he liked the, the power of being able to, yep. who's, who's at what level, yep. you know? So now I guess he can't do that. Yeah. And then number two is all the ones he did kind of got reverted to zero, let's just say. Yeah. And then each person has to fill out questionnaire yep. and then they get start off with a certain level. Correct. And at that point, once you start playing, then it'll just up or down depending yep. on how honest you were right. yep, <laughs> and exactly. when you filled it out, right? Exactly. And that's pretty similar to, to as I remember, play Tomic. The other, the other one, is that he was he made a complaint that that he can't um, put people in clinics because they don't have the right rating. So this person is going to clinic that's let's say at an advanced, which he's not. Yeah. Or this person wants to go into this clinic and he can't get into that yep. one. So that was kind of the complaint, you know, that that he had, and I can kind of see that a little yeah. bit, but I think it takes time, yeah. right? So, it, well, if you're honest on the questionnaire, and yeah. that's the biggest thing, you yep, know, maybe eighty percent yeah. of the people are not, yeah, because I think eighty percent of the people think they're better than they really are, and so maybe they're not honest with it, and they get a rating of whatever six yeah. or something, you know. But then eventually they play, they play, right? So once you start playing, and and you know, and you're playing versus somebody, let's say that's three or three and a half thousand honest, yeah. And you lose, that's gonna come down, right? Yeah. And vice versa, all yeah. right? So that's that's a big thing. Now that takes time, yeah, right. So it's not something that's gonna happen uh, immediately. Yeah. So I think that was one of the complaints or concerns, I guess, yeah. that that he had. So um, how did you, how do you address that, or is it just a matter of just time? Just waiting Those, until that uh, that eventually you know uh, levels off. No, so I think first of all, you have to do things that scale, right? Yeah. At the clubs, I think the the shift that's happening in the U.S. right where before it was, you know, the clubs that we knew, the community was a lot tighter, and now we have new players coming in. Yeah, right. And I think by you going through the pro, it might create some barrier to entry, right? And I and we do list. And it is valid concern, right? Yeah. So that's why what we've set up, this is a community tool, right? So again, I don't expect to have all the answers. And that's why if we all work together to seeing how we can address these right, items, right. but we all need to go towards the same path yeah. sure, in that case. Because when you think about it, um, you're trying to keep the quality of the clinic, which is valid, right. but at some point you got to trust the system, right? Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. trust is not given, it's earned, it's, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So slowly, and it takes time. It takes time. Correct. It takes time. Yeah. If you want to build something, you want to create something. Yeah. You got to first, you know, uh, uh, demolish what you have and then start fresh. Exactly. You know? and, 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 and I get it. And I get it. And, I, and you know, I'm the same page as you are. Um, okay. So uh, how about features? What, what features are clubs asking for? Again, I talked yeah. to Julian. I, you know, it would have been great if he was here because yeah. he can ask you directly yeah. uh, these questions. But these are things that I hear because we talk all the time. And I think one he was hoping to have this feature that he can uh, cr uh create a lesson with his with his um with his uh, co co uh, people players can create a lesson with the coaches there without yep. using a hyperlink it's like yep. already embedded in there yeah are you getting a lot of that or is it just that that club asking for that no no so we're working on all that oh, right okay. so essentially what we're going towards is the complete digitization of the club okay right so everything that happens on a phone call on that there's some friction we're already working on kind of removing those touch points okay right great, and i great. think the and not only that <laughs> but also what we're seeing from a lot of clubs which i think is different globally is i go back to it right in the past years we were trying to figure out how to run these clubs and now not only club owners but new club owners new operators we're getting more i want to say we're getting more sophisticated okay. right what does that mean then through the data that goes through the booking system, the point of sale, right? The clubs now should be leveraging that data, right? So a lot of our efforts in the in the future and that we're working on today is, okay, uh, Julian came in today, it's his first class or it's his first time at the club. We should excel or the system should give you the tools 
to excel in that customer experience. What does that mean? Andres, welcome. You know, your first time at the club, let me show you how it is. Because one thing we need to remember, and, and this is kind of my message to everyone is, we need to keep bringing people into the sport. Yeah. Because you know that as soon as we give them a racket, they're not going anywhere, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I think we can be confident to monetize, enough to <laughs> monetize the club, right? Exactly. Create different verticals. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, <clears throat> creating different verticals, right? I hear that all the time, creating communities, different verticals. Um, are you guys focused on that too? Because there's, you know, in the club, <clears throat> you're seeing this more, there's more like, okay, renting out the restaurant or having yeah. your own restaurant, yeah. you know? There is, you know, beers and wines. You know, obviously there's already a, a club shop, Yeah. you know? Um, so there's different areas there that they're looking to in incorporate in, in verticals. So the the rentals of the of the of the what do you call it? the the courts there's not as much stress there. And they yeah. can focus on it and not make hasty decisions because they have other uh, you know revenues coming from different verticals. Correct. Are, is your software work, it was play by point, working with that to anticipate that in the next, say, three, four, five years? Because I think that's where it's going. And I think, yep. you know, the clubs that are going to last yep. and stick out are is going to be that. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you one, there's, there's one, <coughs> Doral mm -hmm. has a sports bar, yep. Yep. has club. And, and, and that, I think, is exciting yep. for Paddle. And I think that's what people are going to going to want. Yeah, and those clubs are, I think, are going to last. So now that requires a lot more uh, different software development. Yeah, you know, because not really now just you know the courts. Now it's all these other different uh, you know streams yeah. of revenue. Yeah, so that's champions in Doral. So shout out yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. they're in play by point as well, and we're, we're supporting them. Yeah. Um, no, I hundred percent agree. Right. So what I tell them, the biggest difference, at least in the U.S. market, and I try to. I'm not gonna say educate, but bring awareness is there's a difference between building a court and building a club. Yeah. And building a club requires a much more holistic experience that brings in all those components that you mentioned. Yeah. F&B, pro shop, community, events, renting out the space, yeah. right? Play by points focus today is solely on the racket sports management portion of it. Okay. We do have a light pro shop where you can manage your pro shop, you can manage your light cafe, um, we are working on integrations with established and professional players in the FMB space, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing that we don't intend to do is compete with the toast, okay. right? They're going to do it way better. Um, and it's a lot of detail, okay. right? So when you manage a restaurant operation, again, I can go into yeah, detail. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. tipping, yeah, yeah, kitchen yeah. ordering. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of stuff that <laughs> will deviate from our focus, right? Our focus yeah. is to digitize the club experience and give club owners all the tools, reports, leverage to be able to run at the most efficient manner, and then also give the players all the tools to easily access these clubs, right? Okay. Through the best user experience, through the best services, and 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 that's kind of what our main focus is. Okay, so I, I see the restaurant part is where you're kind of scared and you're like, hey, let's just use a different third party company because it's, yeah. it's a big project in itself, yeah. right? Um, okay, I get it. I get it. I mean, you want to stay focused on on paddle, and that, yeah. that's your your main thing, right? Because if not, you spread yourself too thin. Yeah. Then you sacrifice some of the uh, you know the the qualities in the paddle. Yeah. Paddle part. Got it. Got it. All right. So how about um, last time we talked? I think the ratio of play uh, play um, play by points income is through SaaS, right? Uh, versus um, let's just say processing. Is that the still the same? Is your fee still the same when it comes to when it comes to SaaS and charging company? I think you talked about minimum two hundred and a maximum eight hundred, depending on yeah. features that have. Is that still the same? That's still the same, right? So again, the only way we monetize is through the club, right? And that goes back to it where we want to create opportunities, and this we maintain with that vision, where the clubs can monetize their user base, yeah. right? So everything we do is to create tools so that they can further monetize. Yeah. Right. And we're just it's like a like Shopify. So I see I see I mean, and that's great that you do that. I mean, I, I just I, I, I'm just I'm, uh, I'm happy that you're you're a, you do that and you're able to let you the club understand that because I think mm -hmm. some clubs don't understand. Yeah, that. I think 100%. they immediately go with something that is the SaaS is very low. Yeah. And they're really losing their data. Yeah, they're, they're, they're you know, they're. The processing fees are very high. Yeah. I mean, there's just a lot going on there and yeah. they don't really see it yeah. until maybe later on. 
So I think there's all those two type of models, and you're yeah. at the other side of, of that, that model. Yeah. And I think it's really important for clubs to understand that um, and, and really assess that and study that and, and decide which is best for you. You know, yeah. I've always liked working with, with you know, third-party companies that are very transparent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I could, I could tell you that, that that's your model yeah. there, which is yeah. just great. And one thing that we do as well is we listen to their needs, right? The industry is young. Whoever tells you that they have the formula to how you should be operating, it, it doesn't know it, right? Because it's changing so fast. Player behaviors are are changing. Yeah, um, we should be adapting. So what we do is we listen to the clubs. That's why we embrace that customer support that we give, or having that direct communication, because our best ideas come from the club. Yeah, right. And we're any, you know, we take customized solutions requests from everyone. Oh, so you're still doing that. So you're, that's still how doing, we, you're still doing some custom that's, work. That's how at, at, at no cost, correct. or are have you? No, no, and no. If it resonates with the product and and our vision and kind of what a hundred percent, right? Because those are ideas. It's incredible because you know how much work it is to create logic like that. I mean, it's a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I see you invested a lot into this, um, and I think people see that. That's why. Yeah. That's why you're very successful yeah. in, in this industry. I think in the U.S. Um, all these marketplace dynamics that you've seen play out in the emerging markets, you've seen where the that has gone from a business model perspective, right? A race to the bottom. Yeah. It's been overinvestment on player tools, underinvestment on club tools. Yeah. And then it, at the end of the day, it hurts the restaurant, right? The the clubs, yeah. right? The same thing that happened with restaurants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, so, I mean, what's next for um, a play by point? But what what do you I mean in the next couple of years what what I mean what's 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 the goal there? Yeah, so look, I think with the technology how it's evolving today, I think there's so much things we can do, right? So when you think about play by point, it's not just I go back to it, not just a booking system, right? And it's to serve the needs of the clubs. Many things we're not doing today that we're going to be doing in the future, and I can talk to you let's about talk about that. Yeah, let's talk yeah. So look, things. there's tons of opportunities in marketing automations. Okay, right. What do I mean by that? We right now the demand is so high that we've been, cl you know, club owners and us, right? I'll put it that way, kind of lazy in attracting that demand, mm. right? We're not doing our best effort yeah, yeah. to really study the player profile. Are we really taking them through a journey that's going to assure that they don't churn out after six months, after five months, right? I haven't played in three months. Why hasn't a club reached out to me mm -hmm. saying, Andres, there's a clinic. Why don't you come back in? So. Why don't they do that? Because they're busy doing other things. But yeah. I think through the software, we can facilitate right. those interactions. Make incentives. And Make incentives to come back. So smart. I think that that's where the industry is going. And again, that's going to expand our SaaS space, right? So look, if you want that product, we'll create an upsell opportunity for it. Yeah. Then additionally, on the player side, as you know, right, there's tons of opportunities to bring them together, to eliminate that WhatsApp group, to eliminate those you know, chats that are going on and kind of bring it all within one platform. I think the biggest thing still, and since we've talked, is is a rating system. Yeah. And I have to go back to Platomic and, you know, they've done what you've done and it's still not really that accurate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're, you're really using it and you have a partner that's very similar to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, um, this sport is a team sport. Yeah. But your rating is individual. Yeah. So depending on your partner, you yeah. know, it, it's going to vary, right? right? So if you're really a three and your partner's really a five, then you're yeah. probably going to be a five, but you're not really a five yeah. or vice versa, you know? <clears throat> so that's always been the the biggest thing. I mean, it that still is a problem right now, rating. And, and yeah. uh, you know, give an example, you know, last week, you know, in a WhatsApp group that said, hey, look, we're looking for five plus player. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, uh, 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 I'll play. They come, they come back. Can you prove you're a five plus player? I'm like, okay, here, here's my verification yeah. thing. And then so I went to it. Yeah. And you know, and they're not a five plus player. Yeah. They're yeah. maybe a three and a half. Yeah. I mean, they just don't know how to defend in the corners. They don't yeah. have any aerial shots. And like this is still going on. Yeah. And you know, I don't mind. I'm 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 a nice guy, and I'll play. You know, almost anybody. Yeah. But people get upset. Yeah. You, you, you know. Um. And the person saying, "Hey, look, are you fight?" I'm sure he's got burnt before, or yeah. I, I don't know what his thing yeah. is, or maybe people just don't understand. Yeah. 
there's still not a solution for that. Yeah. And, and I've used Platonic, you know, when I went to Europe and what do you call it? Because it's, you know, they use that there and and to get games. And I mean, I use it once or twice. So yeah. it, it's not really used down here. Yeah. So and it's much. still, you still hear complaints, right? Yeah. So there is no perfect system, right? They You hear complaints that people lie on the questionnaire. And I think, look, we have a mentality of open source in this case, because it's not for us, right? This yeah. is for the community. Mm -hmm. I think we need to create tools and, and features that compete with the best, right? Or compete with other platforms. Um, but I think there needs, we need to bring the paddle community together and find mechanisms, right? So just to give you an idea, so you can have your initial rating, but what if we do a, I don't know, right? there could be a, a match that is verified by Julian, right? Right. So then you can reinforce those ratings over time and you can give them, I don't know, right? We can do badges. We can do <laughs> some sort of way that, oh, Andres is really a three, five. Yes. Right. He has X amount of votes of confidence. Right, right, right. I don't know, right? I think there's things that we I can, mean, I, I we still, can do. I still think, you know, um, there should be a base. And then from there, it should go to, you know, results on games. Like, so yeah. for instance, you know, again, there's 25 shots of paddle plus another 10. So if you can demonstrate, you know, all those shots, yeah. then you're at least a three yeah. or three and a half. Yeah. At that point, then you go ahead and it's based on your, right. on your what he calls. Because if you don't know those, those shots and then you're playing, you know, above that and somebody comes in and they want to play paddle, right? Yeah. And you just don't know all the shots. <coughs> and yeah, you may win for some people. Yeah. But as soon as the person knows they don't know these types of shot, they're going to put it there and, and, and that's how they're going to win yeah. because you're not going to be able to get it back. How do you do that? It's, 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 it's impossible. I have you know, an idea. Maybe the courts, a lot of these courts now are having video cameras. Yeah you know, I I involved there. Yeah. So it, the other thing could be is taking video of yourself. Yeah. You know, you want to now set up a, you know, 20 second video and play by point. Yeah. So people will see, okay, you're this, but let me see how you play. Yeah. That shoots, tries to shoot all those 25 shots. Yeah. Your aerials, your defending, stuff like that. Yeah. And it's put together in a small little 20 second video. Yeah. So now, okay, yeah, you're a five player. Okay, let me look at the video real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because you can tell when somebody pl is, you know, plays just yeah. by watching their, yeah. their you know, rhythm, the timing, and then also seeing their shots. And you're like, okay, I, I could play. Yeah. But now, if you don't see that, then you then you really say, okay, I'm not. I'm yeah. gonna pass on this on this yeah. game. You know, that could be a possibility um, associated with that those mm -hmm. that that you know 100%. the rating system. Yeah. Um, because you're really just trusting the person that he's I agree. this. And even if you do ask them, do you know your aerial shots? Oh, they're going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, but hey, uh, you know, sh showing instead of telling is, is, yeah. is, is big, you know, but I don't know, but that, that would require, you know, those video cameras on some of these courts and some of them do have it, you know, but yeah. not everybody does, you know? Yeah. But I think I can assure you that the future looks like that, right? So again, the, the base is there. And you're starting to see more cameras. You got that cool system that they have in in Ultra. Yeah, yeah. With the volley. Yes. So yes. the volley shows can throw you some shots. They can measure it. So that's, that's a good idea. So that's so it, it maybe play by point can it can work with volley. Mm -hmm, exactly. You yeah. know, and just say, hey, look, this is the test. Yeah. These are the twenty five shots. Yeah. Have it in there. Have you done the volley test? Yeah. You go. You go in there, and you do the volley test. Yeah. And now you take the best shots of, of the video. And now you have it there. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, no, idea. that's a I great think idea. You should yeah, talk yeah. to Volley about yeah, that. Yeah. That's a good collaboration. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think, look, that I think we're that problem is gonna get solved, but it needs to be solved. It will be solved taking the whole community into play. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because yeah. you cannot, we don't pretend to be, you know, the the truth sayer. So that's why, look, we want to hear input from everyone. Yeah. We want the coaches need to be involved, the players need to be involved. And it's always going to be a balance yeah, for sure yeah. in that case. But I think with all these cameras, look, with all the investment you're getting into AI, yeah, um, all these specialized chips with more cameras coming inside, we will be able to do that, right? So it's just a matter of time, yeah. right? And I can, there's been billions of dollars invested in that. Right now, the problem is the processing that video, right? It's expensive, right? Unless you have a localized hardware at scale. Yeah. So I think that will occur. It has to be automated. Correct. It has to be automated. So be there automated. are people already building these analytic tools 
um, into the camera. So the camera just by itself won't do anything, right? It has to be automated. Yeah. But if you tell me in a year, you know, once we meet in a year, I'm sure there's going to be a winner emerge in the camera category that will be able to tell us all that. Right? Because that's what everybody wants to do. Yeah. In order right. to get into this and say, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, because people really want to know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people, they, 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 they some people, they, I mean, they have no idea. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They have, saying? No, idea. They have, they have no idea. Yeah. Um, but. And one thing I'll just interrupt there. One problem with the coaches verifying them, and this is what I hear, yeah. you know, the guys in Connecticut think that I'm a 4-0. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. guys in Miami think I'm but, a. But that will change. That will like change. Like I said, because yeah. if you have a volley, I see more volley, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, machines now more and more places. That's awesome, yeah. They have the video camera. They can actually shoot all the 25 shots. Mm-hmm. And they'll shoot them, let's say, five times, and they'll take the best one of that yeah, and exactly. do that. Yeah. And now they put that together. And now you could say whatever rating you are, but nobody's going to care about that. People's going to want to watch that video. Or you override it. And, and and then you watch that video, and then you'll be like, okay, I want to play with him or not. Based, you know, He could be a five, and then you know, and, and he says he's three and a half, but this guy's a good player. I want to I play with mm -hmm. him or vice versa. Or you need to do a volley session every month. Or every two months. Well, that's how people improve. Yeah. People are like, I want to improve. I want to get yeah. my rating. High. Now, you, 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 that's, that's where you start, right? And, and you, maybe you don't even, when you're playing, that does not really work on your, um, uh, on your level until yeah. you get those 25 shots. So, yeah, so, you, you, so you're, let's say, a three or three and a half until you get those shots. Yeah. So once you have it, yeah. then you are, let's say, a minimum of three and a half. Yeah. At that point, it's just moving forward. But yeah. everybody knows once you're, 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 you're uh, in the algorithm of, of what you have, everybody knows there that you know all the shots. Yeah. So you're actually playing paddle on the court. I got you, yeah. The, you know, and I think that's the biggest thing because, if, yeah. you know, yeah, you could be a four or four and a half and win, you know, and, and that's great. Yeah. But maybe you're not really playing paddle. Yeah. You know, you're young, you're, you're running yeah. around very quickly, and somebody that says just wants to play paddle is not going to enjoy that, let's yeah. say. But now, if this person knows, and it's going to help them, yeah, because that person knows all the shots, they're going to be better, yeah, than a four and a half, yeah. the five, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So something like that would be great. I mean, I don't know if I'm onto something. No, but, no, I you think know. you are. But the most important thing is that you need the community and the club buy-in, right, to yeah, implement yeah. these things. So that's why we put it in there as kind of a neutral party. We represent the club, but and as long as the club is on board, because Forget about, forget about that initial piece. But yeah. then imagine, like, you can start building a program that you can provide to players on a progression chart. Yeah. Right? So you go in, you you take the initial assessment. I had that idea, like, three years yeah. ago, but it's like I couldn't yeah. I couldn't really, it was too much work. Right. But now this this will make sense. Correct. And then through the app, you can start recommending, hey, take this clinic. Boom. Once you complete this clinic, you go in here. So, again, there's tons of things we can do. Or you get the analytics, the coaches see, hey, 40% of the people can't do the bandeja. Okay, we're going to have a clinic just on just that. the bandeja, yeah. Or let's just say, you know, 50% of the people can't do a turn, 360 gotcha, turn, yeah. and the defending. Okay, let's focus on that. Yeah. And I think that's, I mean, because when you go into a, a lesson or a clinic, you do the basic same thing. There's a yeah. difference, but, but it's not focused on what your yeah. needs really are yeah. to make you a better player. Yeah. And some of the lessons are there just to hit the ball back so you can hit the ball. But yeah, you know, I mean, so I think, I think that's, I mean, I think that's, I great. think you're, I think we're onto something. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're on. We're on. I heard something. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's how we work with everyone. Right. Even with right. the software side. And that's what I say. We got to bring some format, right. In an open discussion, where we're all working on this together, right? Because again, I can't do it alone. I need the players' inputs. I yeah. need the coaches' inputs. Yeah. We need the club's input. But then at the end, again, I go back to it. We need to create the perfect paddle club experience. Yeah. The perfect. What does that mean? Because right now, you know, as you know, most of the slots are being taken by people that already have their partners. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, it's, you know, you can find people, but it's not as easy. If I wanted to take a lesson, I can only take it at noon. Right, right. right? right, right. If if I wanted to take a clinic, mm -hmm. you have the morning clinics, which are awesome. So that is that is getting better. But we need to create a come for the reservation, then stay for more. Because yeah, yeah. as you know, we want 
everyone wants more paddle. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we need to create those journeys, those those customer journeys. Hundred percent experience, you know. And, and going back to the, because I'm going back to, I'm <laughs> excited about that. It, you know, when it comes to the rating things, it takes everything off the coaches now. Exactly. Because if you're dealing with a volume machine and you're getting that, it, yeah. it's it's automatically going to create your, yeah. your score. You can't go more than that. Correct. So now it takes it off all the coaches and all the clubs. Correct. They re really are not doing that because it's very consistent, yeah. of course. Uh, and then there's politics involved as well. Yeah. And then and favoritism, favoritism. I'm talking about right. Yeah. So, oh, so and these then, are my friend. Let me give you a four. <laughs> let me make you a four zero. I know I had to do that for Jim so many times. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so then you know it, it, it's like they don't have to deal with any of that. And then once you get in the rating system, they don't even have to deal with that. Yeah. So they're not really dealing with that. They're just helping you here, and then they can help try to get you past that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which I think is is, yeah. is, is great. Um, man, I think we came up with something here. We got to no, no, talk I a little bit more. <laughs> we're excited about the growth of the sport and we're excited, right? We're excited because me primarily and, and in our company, you know, eight years ago, seven years ago, everyone thought we were crazy, right? What, Andres, what are you doing? This little, you know, this, this app that's just doing that. Right, right. And, right. and we were convicted to our vision, yeah. to the product, um, doing it when no one believed that it yeah. was a viable anything Business, right right and and i think that just reaffirms not only for me but for entrepreneurs building clubs right right, right? and i think that's kind of what we represent we're not just a booking system yeah. we're your partner and building a club is not easy right, right and right. and and that's kind of the hidden truth and we can talk about that that no one gets they think that you just put in cords i and, i and, think building a club is easy but building a successful club is a difficult one that too you know? that too um but also on, on building the club you've heard i'm not saying horror stories but you know one securing the real estate yeah you know it's that's why whenever i talk to well that's here in miami for sure yeah and every and you're seeing it everywhere yeah yeah you're seeing yeah. it across big metropolitan cities as yes. well anywhere with the city yeah 100%. um then you got the permits yeah yeah then you got the build out yeah and then you're starting a business, and most of these people have never well, operated you're educating, a club. Educating, educating, and you know the people yeah. because they don't exactly they don't know what yeah. this is. Yeah. So then we come in, and I like to joke. I'm like, look, at play by point, we're 60% psychologists, 30 <laughs> 30 percent consultants, and 10 percent software. Right, 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 right. Because look, at the end, you know, for you're building a dream, right? You're building a business. You're mm -hmm. you're putting your your money at risk. So this is we don't look at it as no. Here's a booking system. Bye bye. We understand, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I know what it takes. Yeah. We know what it takes to come in here and put your skin on the on the yeah. line, put your money on the line, work hard day in and day out. And we're here to make sure that that success happens at the club level. Because why? Because we're flexible. We listen to you. Um, and we built a flexible tool with proven success yeah. in the yeah. past, right? That's taken us many years, right? So I always joke, if I had to do this again, I wouldn't do it knowing what I know now. Right, right? right given right. all the learnings you know <laughs> right. I, I came back I, when i started i think i said this in the previous when they told me hey you know managing a racket sports club that's easy we started building the software for it and there are so many intricate details Variables, that go into yeah. operating a well-run yeah, yeah, club yeah. right and there's and let me tell you no software is perfect right so right, there's right, still right. a lot of things of course that, that you can keep doing of course man i, I yeah. understand i'm in the industry as yeah. well man it's constant yeah. constant war constant pivoting constant changes yeah. you know my industry is laws you know compliance it's all yeah. of that oof man and yours is always changes too yeah you know, new things coming up yeah. uh, it's pretty incredible all right man uh andres thanks for coming in again no you thank know, you for having me we are all things paddle